Have you ever caught yourself wondering about the worst ways to die? It's a morbid curiosity, isn't it? But it's a curiosity that's as universal as humanity itself. We all fear death, the great unknown, the ultimate question mark that looms over our existence. What we aim to do here isn't to scare you or to amplify this fear. It's quite the contrary. We're here to educate, to present a scientific perspective on this universal fear. By understanding the mechanics of death, we can demystify it, strip it of its power to terrify us and satisfy our curiosity. In the next few minutes, we'll be discussing the worst ways to die, scientifically speaking. We'll explore the processes, the biology and the experiences associated with these dreadful ends. This is not to shock or horrify, but to inform and educate. Now let's dive into the countdown of the worst ways to meet your end. At number five, we have drowning, a dreadful experience where the body is submerged in water, unable to access the life-giving air it desperately needs. The process is terrifying and the body's reaction is equally distressing. Initially, there's a fight for survival, an instinctual struggle to break surface and breathe. But as the oxygen supply dwindles, panic sets in. The body's natural reflex is to gasp for air, but instead it inhales water, filling the lungs and leading to a sense of suffocation. The heart rate spikes, adrenaline floods the system, and the final stages of drowning begin. The body weakens, vision narrows, and eventually consciousness is lost. What makes this manner of death particularly horrifying isn't just the lack of oxygen, but the accompanying sense of panic and struggle. It's a fight against nature, against one's own instincts, and sadly, it's a battle that can't be won. So, the next time you're swimming, remember to always prioritize safety. At number four, we have asphyxiation. Asphyxiation, or the lack of oxygen, is a chilling way to die. When the body doesn't receive enough oxygen, vital organs start to fail. The brain, being the most oxygen-dependent organ, suffers the most. Within a short span of about three to five minutes, the brain begins to shut down, leading to unconsciousness. The process, however, is far from peaceful. As the body fights for oxygen, it enters a state of distress. The heart races, trying to pump more oxygen. The lungs gasp for air and panic sets in. It's a fight or flight response, but with nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The struggle, the fear, the desperation. It's a harrowing experience. This is why asphyxiation is such a horrifying way to meet one's end. It's not just the physical agony, but also the mental torment that makes it so dreadful. Now, remember to always be aware of your surroundings and avoid tight enclosed spaces. At number three, we have death by burning. Imagine, if you will, the human skin, a remarkable organ covered in millions of pain receptors. These receptors are designed to warn us of danger, a sharp object, extreme cold, and in this case, intense heat. When exposed to such heat, these receptors send signals of severe pain to our brain, making the experience of burning alive excruciating. But the physical pain is just the tip of the iceberg. There's also the psychological trauma. As the body burns, the mind is acutely aware of what's happening. It's like being trapped in a nightmare, but you're wide awake. This horrific combination of physical pain and psychological terror makes burning one of the most feared and worst ways to die. However, it's important to remember that safety measures and precautions around fire can save us from such a dreadful fate. Moving on to number two, we have death by poisoning. Imagine a silent, invisible enemy invading your body, wreaking havoc on your vital organs. The onset can be slow and gradual, or it can be swift and sudden. The poison might cause intense stomach cramps, vomiting, diarrhea, or even seizures. As it spreads through your bloodstream, it begins to shut down your organs one by one. Your heart, your lungs, your liver, your kidneys, none are spared. The body's functions start to fail, leading to a slow, agonizing death. But what makes poisoning truly terrifying is its stealth. It often goes undetected until it's too late. You might not even realize what's happening until you're in the throes of severe pain. It's a reminder that we must always be cautious about what we consume and where it comes from. After all, the difference between a remedy and a poison is often nothing more than dosage. At number three, we have death by burning. This is not simply about physical torment, but a terrifying dance of the psyche as the victim endures an extended torment. 
a continuous barrage of pain that can prolong for hours, days, or even weeks. The body is shockingly robust, but the mind not so much. This method is not merely about causing physical injury. It's about demolishing a person psychologically, gnawing at their sanity until there's nothing left but a void shell. The terror and the horror that swell with every passing moment can be as dreadful as the physical suffering itself. It's a sustained agony that culminates in a gruesome death, categorizing it as one of the most petrifying ways to die. However, let's not forget, the essence of humanity is in kindness and compassion. We must strive to shield each other from such terrible fates and preserve the dignity of life at all times. Coming in at number two, we delve into the unnerving scenario of death by torture. As we proceed through this exploration of the darkest corners of human fear, we trust that this journey has been both enlightening and thought-provoking for you. We encourage you to leave your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. Were any of these scenarios particularly resonant for you? Or perhaps you've pondered other dreadful ways to die that we didn't into? If this video has piqued your interest, has been interactive or even just cryptically fascinating, please make sure to press the like button. Your backing allows us to deliver more such content to you. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to our channel for additional delves into the human mind, the world we reside in, and the unknown parts beyond. We thank you for accompanying us on this grim journey. Stay out there and remember, knowledge equips you with power, is an instinctual reaction, but comprehending our fears can arm us with better tools to understand our surroundings and safeguard ourselves and our loved ones. Until our next encounter, take care.